has it been all been a bit of a blur the last the last year? Not just with the pandemic, but with with the film. Yeah, it's been a year, hasn't it? Yeah, my God, yeah. It's been yeah, it's been nuts. Like we shot it in 2020, March 2020, got shut down early, and then because there's no edits in the film, it's all one take. Literally, uh, we went straight into post. So we shot it in March, and the film was ready to go in August. And I was like, right, come on, let's go. What are we doing with it now? But no one was sort of in cinemas, and no one was ready, you know. So we had to wait a full year, and now, yeah, now this, it's yeah, it's mad. Uh, practically doing a film like that, how? I mean, I can imagine the prep was a long time to get it right. Did you follow the kind of Birdman ethic of putting in very, very sneaky things here just to alert, or is it just the whole? That's it. That's it. How many how many takes did you manage to do of the entire film? We did we did four in total, but we were meant to do eight. And like I said, we got cut short by uh, two days. So we were going to do two per night, and then we got cut short by um, by two days. So we so we did four takes, and the third one is the one we've used. But yeah, there was never any like question of having, having hidden cuts in there. <clears throat> we just thought, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to do it in one take. And it was took a lot of. Uh, you know, trying to find the right equipment to do that with and th cameras that could take, you know, we could spend that t amount of time filming something in one go. And um, once we found that, it was like, yeah, no brainer. You know. And in terms of obviously independent film, I mean, you're struggling in some respects for oxygen on your movies because there's so many big budget movies and there's, now there's such a backlog of movies because of the, 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 the delays and everything else. How difficult has that been for you as a filmmaker to see that, but also the flip side that you've had great reviews and people seem to be really digging the film so far? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you know, I feel like it's, um, I, I'm, I'm a big believer in sort of energy and stuff and like, you know, I feel like it's, like they keep moving the, the dates and I'm like, cool, that's, well, if it's moved then, that's when it's meant to come out, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, it's, obviously you, you want your film to be out and stuff, but, you know, it's, it's out in the, in the US at the minute and, you know, you sort of find yourself looking at reviews and stuff and then you're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Hello, hello. Producers. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it's just mad, it's mad, it's mad. And as far question, I mean, this time last year with the pandemic, cinemas, as you say, were closed. It must be so energizing to be seen with an audience because there's so many filmmakers that haven't had that opportunity with their films. So how important is that experience for you to see it with a, with a full audience? It's, in, it's incredibly important because, you know, we make things for, for that medium, right? And, and, and I love going to the cinema. And I know everybody else loves going to the cinema. So we didn't make it to think, oh, it's going to be, you know, stuck at, you're watching at home. I mean, it's fine if it is, but like, you know, we watched we watched it for the first time with an audience at Carlo Vivari Film Festival. And it was two and a half thousand people. And I was like, whoa, this is, I mean, I, I hadn't even thought about it, to be honest. And then you sit there and you're like, oh my God, this is insane. And then, you know, the whole, the, thankfully they liked it. <laughs> so yeah, it was just, amazing to sort of it's almost like you i've got a four-year-old daughter and she's in the middle of dance like she does dance classes right and so she's training for this show in january rehearsing for this show in january i think she's the best but as soon as you put it on stage you know it's like oh hang on a minute does everyone else think she's the best or it's just me you know that's what it felt like ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!